Do you know what your heart is doing while you are training? Of course you do. It is working. Now, when we are exercising, we are usually concentrating on our form, our pace, maybe the number of reps we're trying to hit, or trying to make sure that we're pushing through to all-out failure. Do we really need one more thing to worry about? Well, that really depends on what your overall goal is. Now, weight training is essentially a form of interval training, where you alternate a period of all-out effort with a period of rest. Now, we usually use one of two ways to decide how long our rest period should be. We use either perceived rate of exertion or time. Now, let me explain this a little bit further. With perceived rate of exertion, when you're doing your set, you're pushing as hard as you can to get that weight up right up until you feel like you absolutely cannot do another rep. And then you rest. And you rest until you feel like you can do that weight again. So perceived rate of exertion is all about how we feel. When we do a HIIT style workout, it is typically timed. We give an all out effort for a certain amount of time and then we rest for a predetermined amount of time before we give that all out effort again. Now the question is, how do we know how long we should be giving that all out effort for and how long our rest period should be? In order to find this out, the first thing we need to know is what our approximate maximum heart rate is. Now there's a few ways to figure this out, but the easiest way is to take 220 and subtract our age. Now if you're on any medications or you have heart disease or high blood pressure or any reason why you may think that you cannot do high intensity exercise, then you really need to talk to your doctor first. So when it comes to the high intensity part of our intervals, we want to be getting our heart rate up as high as we safely can. I usually recommend that we get it over 80% of our maximum heart rate, that way we get into the anaerobic training zone. Now if you find that you are giving an all out effort but you just can't get your heart rate up into that 80% zone, don't worry about it. Over time, as your fitness level improves, it will become easier to get your heart rate up and to maintain it. Now when it comes to the duration or the length of these high intensity intervals, we should keep them between 30 seconds and 120 seconds. If you're new to HIIT training, I'd recommend you start with a shorter interval of 30 seconds and slowly increasing it as your fitness level improves. Now when we're taking a look at our low intensity interval or our rest period, we want to get that into the recovery zone. So our heart rate recovery zone is in between 50 and 65 percent of our maximum heart rate. Now we don't need to be having our heart rate drop all the way down to the 50 percent, but we do want it to drop below the 65 percent of our maximum heart rate before giving an all-out effort again. So the time that it takes to get your heart rate down below that 65 percent into the recovery zone is how you'll decide how much time you should take for that low intensity interval or that rest time. Now it could end up being a one to one ratio where you have 30 seconds of high intense effort to 30 seconds of low intense effort or it could end up being a one to three ratio where you got 30 seconds of high intense effort to a minute and a half of low intense or rest time. All depending on your fitness level and the time it takes to recover. And of course, it'll change over time as your fitness level improves. Now, when it comes to monitoring your heart rate during HIIT training, I recommend that you use a chest strap as opposed to the heart rate monitor that's built into your watch. As the chest straps are better at detecting the rapid changes in your heart rate that happen during HIIT training. Still not sure if you're ready to start HIIT training? Well, if you can do sustained steady state cardio for 30 minutes, keeping your heart rate between 65 and 75% of your maximum heart rate, then you're ready to give HIIT training a go. Now, this is Lawrence from Fit and 50 signing out. Keep working out. Keep finding fun ways to get your fitness level to a new height. And we will talk to you again in that next video.